Hey everyone, welcome back. New lesson. We're going to talk about area today. And let's just get us started off. We'll have a quick warm up here. What is the area of this rectangle? And how did you find out? All right, the point of this lesson is to find a shortcut for calculating the area of a rectangle. So the first thing we need to do is measure the length of the rectangle. And I have eight centimeters going across and they're one wide on that top row. And the length tells us how many one centimeter squares fit along it. The length is eight centimeters, so eight one centimeter squares fit along the, along the, the length. So from here to here is eight centimeters. I can tell because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight one centimeter squares going across. Next, we're gonna measure the width of the rectangle. And here I have one, two, three, four centimeter squares um, going up and down. And the width tells us how many rows of one centimeter squares fit in the rectangle. The width is four centimeters, so there's four rows. And I've, if I was to add um, the new squares, and there'd be one here, 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 and here, 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 and so on, okay? So we're gonna multiply the length by the width, and eight times four is 32, so the area of the rectangle is 32 centimeters squared, we say. And remember, if you write 32 just centimeters, you're not really accurate there. It's not accurate at all. Uh, we might do that for perimeter, the, the distance around the rectangle, but we would never do it when we're talking about the area, the inside, we're, t we're, we're saying it in squared. So we put that little exponent there, the two. And um, if you don't believe me, I mean, you can imagine if the squares keep going and you will count 32 squares. That's not really a shortcut if we're counting the insides or using multiplication for a shortcut. However, we have a rule to write. To find the area of a rectangle, we just multiply the width by the length. And this can be expressed as a formula, just like with perimeter, we, with the, the quadrilaterals we did last lesson. Area equals length times width. So the formula is A for area equals L the, and times width. Now remember that L, uh, we're doing it in the handwriting way and I quite often do it like that. Um, we do that again because if we use just this, we'll get confused with a one and we don't wanna do that. So here's a problem. Julie built a dog crate for her dog. The floor of the crate is the rectangle. The dimensions of the floor are 80 centimeters by 120 centimeters. What is the area of the dog crate floor? So remember, we always write our formula first. And I've had some people ask why we write this so we don't make mistakes. And so area, and we're gonna substitute 80 by 120. Well, 120 sounds like the length times 80. Now, if you don't know 12 times eight, remember we always focus on the other the first numbers and we add the zeros later. Uh, well, 12 times eight is 96. And if we add two zeros, we get that. Now, that's not the answer. Uh, this is not the answer. This is the answer. And so it is 9,600 centimeters squared. Or if you want to write that in meters, trick question, 9.6 meters squared. All right, I'm gonna get you to try this one. Graffiti was spray painted on a building wall last night. Oh my goodness. The owners needed to cover it up. The wall measures 35 meters long by 15 meters high. The owner went to the hardware store and found out that each can of paint covers 100 meters squared. How many cans of paint do they need to buy to cover up this graffiti? So I'll let you try that out, figure out, the question is not what is the area? The actual question is how many cans of paint do they need to buy? Take a few minutes to figure that out. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is, well, maybe I'll just draw a rectangle just for kicks and giggles. And uh, I wanna find the inside there. So it's 35 meters this way, 15 meters this way. Okay, so we learned that A, area, length times width, so A, we're gonna substitute our in for our variables, 35 times 15. Now, I don't know about you, I can't multiply that way. So I'm gonna multiply going this way. So five times five is 25. Five times 
3, or 5 times 30 is 150. This is a, one is a 10, 10 times 5 is 50, and 10 times 30 is 300. I'm running out of room. So I'm gonna maybe go over here. This is bad practice, but I'm running out of room. So five plus zero plus zero plus zero is five. Two plus five is seven, plus another five is 12. I'm gonna carry the one. And we have 525. 525 what? Not puppy dogs, not um, blades of grass, but 525 meters squared. Okay, now each can covers 100 meters squared. Well, how many cans of paint is that? That's gotta be at least five cans of paint, but we still have that 25 meters squared and they don't wanna run short, so we're gonna have to get, they're gonna have to get, not us, six cans of paint. They'll have a bunch left over, but they need six to cover that wall. All right, there you have it. Great example of how area can be used in real life. So remember, in math, real life happens. Or in life, math happens. Take care.